Hey gang, Mel Claro here. In this video, I want to show you a, a really efficient tip that came out in just the latest releases of Camtasia for Macintosh and Camtasia Studio that lets you insert new clips in the middle of a multi-track timeline while keeping everything else to the right of that clip where you want to insert it still in sync with each other. Hey guys, Mel Claro here with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. So in this video, I want to show you something here real quick. So take a look at this timeline. I just kind of put this together really quick, but it'll kind of drive home the point. Take a look at the fact that we have four tracks here, right? So here's track four, we have some callouts. Track three, we have an audio file. And then track four, this is the video, uh, the in the picture in picture video that goes with that audio file. And then track one, uh, what do you call this? Four, three, two. This is two. And then one, we have down here the screencast that goes along with all of this stuff. Right now, it's just basically recording the background. But here's the main thing I want to show you. Of course, if you've been doing this for a while, you know that it's important to keep things in sync. So if you're going to move stuff around, you want to make sure that you're moving them all together. Like, for instance, take a look at this. Here, I want to have a, star, a call out that looks like a star. Okay, now a little bit further down the timeline, right now I want to have a green box. Okay, so he's saying he wants a star at some point and he wants a green box at some point, but they're all individual tracks, right? So if you end up wanting to insert, it used to be the case, that if you wanted to insert a new clip right in here, you would have to split at the playhead, right? And then if you end up moving this stuff over, you have to make sure that you're keeping this also in, in sync, that green box, because look what would happen line right now I want to have a green box appear okay well he's saying green box but that green box um, when we move this to tracks three through one over basically got out of sync with that green box so it used to be the case that let me undo this used to be the case that if you were going to do this and your timeline was long you then had to take all of this plus anything else to the right of that and then if you had a really long timeline then you had to scale out and then select everything else and move everything else together at the same time so that way they all stay in sync with each other okay so with that said let's go ahead and undo all of this so I put these clips back together again new actually in the latest releases of Camtasia for Macintosh and Camtasia Studio actually when I say latest releases these came out in October and December of 2012 it's just that it happens to be that many screencasters actually didn't know that these features existed until just a recent discussion with one of the product managers at TechSmith who pointed out that hey actually in the one of the latest releases look what you can do now in Camtasia for Macintosh if you push the command key while you're pushing the while you're clicking and dragging the playhead or if you're in Camtasia Studio for Windows you push the shift key while you click and drag the playhead what you're able to do now is if I on the Mac if I'm gonna push and click and drag notice how it, Camtasia just goes ahead and splits that playhead for you and keeps everything in sync now if I want to take a clip like this let's say okay now in this clip I want to mix things up a little bit by having a green arrow up here in between the star and the green box how do you do that without putting things out of sync well that's how you do it you just basically click you would push the command key on your Macintosh and then click and drag the playhead or you push the shift key on your Windows platform on Camtasia Studio and then click and drag the playhead and now you'll be able to take this clip of this series of clips over here, click and drag and put them right in the middle. Or if you're pulling something from the timeline, you can click and put that right in the middle as well. Now, when you want to take that little gap in the middle and then kind of cinch all of this stuff up and bump it right up against that, all you would need to do is just come right to the beginning of that play, right to the beginning of that series of clips there, select them, or actually you wouldn't even have to select them all, but then you would also then push the command key and click and drag back over. And of course, in the Cam in Camtasia Studio, this would be the shift key and click and drag over. Okay, hope that helps. That's a really quick tip because that has actually been a pain in my butt whenever I have these really long timelines. Like for instance, some of my some of my projects might even be 15 to 20 minutes long. If you hit my digital know-how course, you know that some of those in the deep dive course, some of those are actually like 20, 25 minutes long, and that becomes a really long timeline with multiple tracks. So when I want to insert something in the middle, something like this would actually be able to be very helpful in that kind of a situation. All right, this is Mel with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. Until next video, take care.